Hi there! Today we're going to talk about how to customize your own videos and turn them into a lesson where you can have a video with pauses for questions or narration or many other types of features. So Edpuzzle is a great resource. Many of us like to use it out there, but if you're a teacher that hasn't, this is the video for you. When I get into edpuzzle.com, I can log in using my Google account, so I'll do that now. I go to log in and I log in as a teacher. When I get into Edpuzzle after logging in with my Google account, I can see that home page, and it defaults to this view right here, which shows the classes that I have input already and some of the assignments that are in progress. So I'll give you a, a thumbnail view there of some of the things that I've put in here. I can see the videos that I've assigned. I can see how many students have answered and how many students have turned it in and then I can go down here and also see an assignment that was already completed. You can see on the left side that my classes are there. I just wanted to mention briefly that I imported them through Google Classroom. So this will interface with Google Classroom. If you have students already assigned to a class there, you can import your classes directly into Edpuzzle. If I want to add content for the videos, uh, I can go up right up here to this tab that says content. I can find a video off the web that I'd like to use. I got this one off YouTube. I can select that URL and it will come up and show me. If I want to use something off of YouTube, I just click YouTube on the left side of that menu right there. I click in this box, paste in the URL, and there's the video I want to use today. So now I'm going to say, all right, here's what I can do. I can crop, I can record narration, I can add audio notes for the kids, and I can add questions. If you decide the video itself is too long, you can play the video and edit, trim the content to just what you want. Maybe I want to trim off the very few first few seconds of that video, I can just slide that slider in. And maybe I want to make sure that at the end, it ends right before I have too much other stuff on the screen. And I can drag that back as well. And I can say that's trimmed. So you can see that's a very quick demonstration, but I can save that. And I can go to the next step. I will explain the difference here between these two icons right here, the audio track and the audio notes. I don't usually use audio track because it would mean I would need to narrate over the entire video. It gives me a note down here to remind me about that. Instead, I like to punctuate my videos with audio notes. This last icon on the right is the question mark and that's how I add quizzes as I go. I can insert a question wherever I would like, so as I'm playing the video, I can listen along. Today, we are even citizens of a bigger community. It's online, and its members include anyone who uses a connected device, like a computer, smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Hey, that makes almost everyone a digital citizen. So I can pause there, and I could go up there, and I could start to add a question. So if I wanted to put a question in there, I just click the icon. I can type in. I could either do a just open-ended question right here or I could make it a multiple choice question by selecting one of the other choices right here. There's my multiple choice or right here I could just type a comment. Once I'm finished creating my video I can assign it to my classes. So I saved it, I clicked on the video, I can select the due date if I want to, I go down here and select the class that needs to have that particular assigned video and then I say assign. So that was a very quick uh, Edpuzzle demonstration for all of you teachers out there that have never used it before. I recommend it. If you need any help, uh, contact me or leave comments in the video. Thank you.